Hello everyone, my name is Roma and today we're going to watch over two replays, two replays, one in jungle and one in mid lane, in lower elo, in uh, silver flex, to showcase how to actually carry some games if you feel that you are above that elo, or how to find and abuse some lanes, or how to gain advantage solo as Talia, if you are a bit more experienced than the elo, or elo you feel that you are currently at. So, without uh, wasting any more time, this is basically like a small guide seminar. Let's watch and see how it goes. So here we are in a low elo game as Talia in jungle and at the end of the game you will notice maybe that uh, this Aurelion Soul will not deal that much damage like 6k total with in over 25-30 minutes. So basically we have to carry him and we have to actually do most of the hard work and you're going to see I'm still going to do some mistakes I'm, but I'm going to do and I'm going to tell you some general tips on how to carry as a jungler and how to actually do your best there and how to try to get some kills and have some dark harvest stacks now I'm going the standard build you can find it on pro builds on anything else uh, from any pro player basically it's nothing new it's dark harvest for jungle and the standard build path with the AP item with the Sork boots, with uh, more things that you're going to notice over the course of the game. Now I want to occasionally put this here and I also want to talk about a bit about kiting. Uh, I'm not doing it perfectly, I feel like I'm doing it decently but I'm not that experienced in jungle but I still want to showcase this. I mean, I suppose I'm at least Diamond 4 at the jungling level. And now you start usually with red, you try to go Krogs as fast as possible, now here you can see Jack's King already forming and I'm trying to get this as soon as I can and to kite them now there's not much that I can do here and even if I followed they should have just stopped I mean I just kited that and they fought but they escaped, it's not a problem I mean, Jax wasted so much time here already, so this is low elo behavior, maybe they're gonna get the kill, but honestly, that doesn't affect me, and it's okay. Now, standard start golems, right, I maybe should have gone there, maybe would have profited from it, but I thought I could actually get some more of the first two runs. Talia is extremely weak in the first clear so you have to get rid of that ASAP as soon as possible actually that's actually what they sub mean but I'm yeah anyway red buff golems rights blue this is the standard path that I take and then you try to get golems as they respawn basically you follow and spam this uh, path for maximum experience then you get the uh, crap now you're going to see that Jax didn't really do much Jax is level 2 here and I've seen there is a fight on top I don't mind it I'm just gonna do my full combo here I'm gonna drag them a bit around and you're going to notice that even though it's lower elo Jax is going very very aggressive and this actually nets us a kill which is great got the kill here now more farming, this is a bit irrelevant right now because it's the first clear, it's boring I know, but I'm trying to make it faster now. Maybe the idea that Jax had worked in some universes, but this farm, his farm is quite low, so yeah. Now my golems again spawned, so basically you gain a lot of experience advantage. And you can actually kite them pretty easily after the first clear. In the first clear just try to keep the big one away from you because you also have red buff. And if you start on this side it's kinda harder but try to ask your uh, top laner for help. Now there is a fight here, I actually have the blue uh, smite and it's all fine. Now Jax as you can see here goes a bit too deep on me but it's still fine. I mean just some poke but we're good as we are still in lower elo our main goal is to actually try to find and abuse the lanes that we can kill like we did on bot lane like we found that jack skill 
and we want to get ourselves fed and not others because we trust more ourselves than others in lower elo obviously uh, this is not diamond so, so I can hope that someone else carries so yeah and here we find jacks I already have the red trinket as you can see it's very important uh, here he doesn't do not really play perfectly but I expect this from lower elo players now Akri could have jumped on me maybe follow with the flash ignite so this is things that you're going to see in lower elo so I try to uh, profit from them as much as I can basically as long as I seen her not moving from here I was like okay I can fight him and I fought him it was fine as I said before red trinket early I got red trinket early I got the vision world early why because we want to clear some gang paths towards bot lane and mid lane because this is where we are interested in killing people so basically more people on bot lane more chances of getting killed again moving bot I already have a vision word here from my bot lane now Jax tries to do miracles but he's too behind already and he didn't farm don't do mistakes don't do the mistake that that Jax did because things like this will happen and you can lose the game right there and it's really really not okay as you can see here we get a triple uh, not on me but triple kills from the enemy team now we have a lot of dark stack dark harvest stacks and that's fine and here I'm gonna speed it up we're just gonna nuke this tower down as fast as we can without caring much okay and as you can see yeah we do have a mundo support but it doesn't matter I mean he's a bit useless at times but in the context of carrying we don't really care about that golems the third time a lot of XP and gold if we can put the gold but I don't remember how I can see the gold <laughs> I'm actually a bit dumb with this uh, tool but nah, well, whatever uh, basically I'm extremely far ahead compared to that Jax and here I think I will do my first mistake as far as I remember I wanted to actually uh, get a kill on um, Janna and I went there and I expected to be there are no words there okay <laughs> but they just went straight for it and kind of surprised me there and I will try a flash but Jax will flash although the red would still kill me and we're fine now they're going there is going to be a huge dive here but <laughs> I just want to showcase it because it's fun Because really is having the time of her life. And Garen did not cast his ult, so things happened. Yeah, magics. The magic of lower elo. Anyway, anyway. We're interested again in farming as much as we can early. Getting advantage, getting dark harvest stacks. Six stacks till now is good. Blue was still here. Now if you're that Jax. Please, 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 for the love of God, got another kill there, it's fine. Got a double kill. Uh, please, for the love of God, farm early. Because he tried to get some kills, but he actually lost advantage. Now, actually, I want to go back here. I want to showcase what's the problem. She recalled in plain sight of the minions. Do not ever do that. I did not have vision on her. And then again, Jax died because, well, overextends. Talia has a wall, use your wall to full potential to get kills like that, to get free things. It's extremely useful to do that for yourself, trust me there are lots of kills in this scenario. Now, already 6-1, already lots of Dark Harvest stacks. I wanted to take uh, this to take Herald, but I kind of thought, well, maybe they can follow. I don't know where Jax is, if Jax comes I might do something stupid. Now there is a two level difference between me and Ahri, that's a lot, even though we're in, as I said, lower elo, that's a lot, and I don't kill her here, I'm not far from it either, but normally we're not that ahead even with 6-1, we're not that ahead if there are two levels between their mid laner and me. Now, getting some uh, tower shots here, some plates, as you can see we have enormous advantage with the plates, like we got them on bot lane, we got them basically on mid lane. Now, my Caitlyn is decent too, 
and she knows that so we try to I try to actually move around her as much as I can try to find a person if you can that actually kind of decent and you can play with him that would help as you can see here even though Mondo died doesn't matter we still get plates we get a lot of plates and here there is this is another mistake I probably should have ulted because my ult is coming and I would have escaped but Akri just ulted and I was like nah ok maybe I escaped and we both died we overextended and that's a major mistake especially when you're having 6 kills do not please for the love of god do not take 10 kills playing extremely smart and then die randomly to their ADC or to their hyper carry or to their fat bruiser because you're going to give a thousand gold and that's a funny bait and Mondo killed her so basically you don't have to you have to play extremely carefully when fed that's the bottom line of it and I did the mistake there and as you can see another thing that you can abuse in lower elos or in any elo that may be below platinum or diamond you're going to see that both Afri and Jax have a lot of gold on their heads now, as I said before, people are not really careful with these things. And that means there can be a lot of gold potential for you or your teammates. Getting the gold from that, I don't know, Fed Jax or Fed Ahri is a lot for your team. And ulted. Uh, Varus had heal don't know why it didn't use or the client is bugged one in two I don't remember exactly if he had it or not don't really have time to track everything but still decent free drake here take all the buffs all the objectives that you can and this will prove useful because uh, well that HP is extremely sweet and we get here another kill on that Garen that Garen is extremely tanky so your targets must be probably our or Jax or even Vardos but he's not really fed right now so you have to focus on their targets that are stronger on their targets that are kind of you know the one that does stuff so basically another key of carrying the game is to uh, try to get the bounty from the targets that you know have it or to nullify that person now here I see Nahri but I kind of expected her to go back a normal player would have probably go back there or worth it at least now another free kill on Jax he had the bounty remember but I think it uh, dissipated it went away uh, but still lots of damage there uh, on their AD carry we still have to kill Ahri which we will as far as I remember at least once so there is another pot of gold that's coming now I have 9 kills full combo on Garen but us usually if you want to engage do not do like what I did if you want to engage a 5 vs 5 fight do not engage it on their tank it's stupid it's extremely dangerous because what happens there what's happening there just answer because for the next 10 seconds or 15 seconds you won't have your WEQ combo and you're going to have a major problem so do not do that now we have 12 kill participation out of 18 that's basically good I usually when I go here to golems to farm to get some extra gold I actually ping my team to back off but apparently they have none of it they don't understand that language <sighs> but that's still okay because we're going to make it work eventually some spells thrown by Afri now as you can see here 600 gold to that Irelia I mean I don't know if I pronounced Irelia, Irelia right <laughs> uh, that's a lot of gold to actually give to a bruiser that's extremely fast that, what, what I said before just happened there actually wasn't careful got caught because we actually targeted her down we are not interested in ulting to get the kill on virus, we are interested in ulting to get the kill on Akhri because that's your gold pot and you are interested in finding that as often as possible getting herald for extra gold, now I'm gonna get that because I want to actually use it usefully usefully I don't think it's worth it but now again, I'm here, I'm back what's happening, tell me I, 
I pinged my team that I'm back. But again, they are going to engage. And as you can see, Kitli is extremely low and for some ungodly reason doesn't back off. And that triggers me. And these things are extremely dangerous. It's not okay. Why why they don't just back off when it's needed? Look look at this. What's the grid? What's the need of the grid here? Oh, and got a kill on Jax because he greeted out on that tower and trying to kill it. This this triggers me. In other games they would have died. Maybe I think even in this game they died at least once or twice over extending randomly without me. If all your kills is on a person, just play with him. Jesus. Like Half of the kills are on me. Basically, the score changes radically without me being in a team fight. I'm. This is not even bragging. This is basic math. I have a lot of gold on top of me, uh, and we need to do something with it. Now here I overextended, but as I have stopwatch, I actually denied a lot of stuff. But that Garen will eventually turn on me, and that's a major problem. But because he actually went back for some reason low low reason <laughs> things actually changed again in my favor now as you can see here dark harvest does wonders in lower elo i actually expected her to ult that way apparently she didn't uh dark harvest is extremely useful in lower elos now this is a perfect use of uh of sweet uh, baby Harold. Now, here we can notice a fight. Jax, well, Jax does Jax things, and normally he should kill me. And normally, as I ping, my team should have come to help me because you don't let your Talia against the Jax. But, well, when you're extremely fed, you can afford mistakes like that, which I just did because you cannot, you can't at all cost expect. I gave a lot of gold. You cannot expect your team to be there for you. You have to, I don't know, follow the hive mind if you want to play lower elo. Either carry it 18-0 or risk it to give gold like I just did. A lot of gold actually to someone in their team, probably Jax as far as I remember, or Garen. That's a bad thing to do. So another pro tip, I'm not even a pro, I'm not really having a license to say this but another good tip probably is to follow the general hive mind of the low elo now. Aurelion here here has some issues but he has this incredible movement speed now. I'm quite confused on how he dealt the least amount of damage in our team at the end of the game and he's also no TP but let's not uh, bog down to that detail. It's irrelevant right now for the context. Let me just catch my breath real quick. Moving next, uh, we are interested now in Baron. Uh, your final goal for finishing a game usually should be Baron when trying to carry. And because you have advantage now, which you should if you played smart and followed the path of least resistance by getting kills on the bad players or playing with the decent players in your team. Now. Here I don't start Baron. Why is that? Because my bot lane is far away and I can actually bait out a free kill on that Janna, which just happened. And I actually recommend you to try this from time to time because in every elo, every single League of Legends rank has these kind of players that actually go full face check without having time to. No. They got panicked, but in this context, they actually shouldn't. Janna probably should have noticed that my source of damage actually Caitlyn, my main source of damage is on bot lane and they just died. And she shouldn't go like that. She should probably go the long way around and try to get vision ward in the pit. That's what you'd want. So that would be a major thing to try to do. Anyway, more farming, more dark harvest stacks. 22 by this point, I'm 14-3. Which is a quite good score if you don't give the bounty to someone, which I just did. And that's a mistake, which I accept and have to play with it. And again, using my trinket. And trying to get the hang of it on where Garen is. Okay, moving faster because it's a bit irrelevant. Now, I noticed Janna was 
pushing for some reason mid lane and so I did this uh, when you are a bit fed or very fed you have the potential to one shot people as Talia and you should abuse that as often as you can now if that virus altered me there I would have probably died although I do have Zonia in this context I'm kinda dead the good thing is however that there is there is this Irelia and I don't know what I just pressed ok so there is the Irelia and she got the inhibitor she still has Baron I usually at this point my team should go back because again as I said your kill source is here I mean my 16 kills versus the rest of them I actually have also the highest farm in the game and 80% kill participation was somewhere around there now let's move faster till I respawn now they go top which is a major mistake because they risk a fight and as you can see here that fight just starts Jax doesn't really care about it because he knows he has the manpower and the numbers advantage and he really just fights 3 people now Caitlyn is basically healing with auto text this Jax so nothing is happening and as you can notice here they all died even though I pinged even though I was like basically screaming for them to you know go back now here actually I have three kills on the way I tried to get the hang of uh, their problem I, if they died randomly I tried to solve the issue uh, but as you can see it's a bit difficult to work and get multiple kills now I don't understand how this happened and I'm really curious just let me just notice okay so are you telling me that my support just soloed why why is he not running by things like that make me wonder why why I don't know I don't even know why I'm at this elo I just I just am and as you can see here again chasing Janna chasing her over and over again Mundo getting a free kill to the enemy team not a good thing but not impossible to deal with now uh, as I said before with the focus on the hive mind there was a vision word that I missed there is an infernal and my team is there I need the objective I need to be there you should always be with your team or yell, scream, write anything at them nicely as politely as you can to back off and you're not there if you're the fed one and you are the fed one so yeah main rule remember the golden rule I mean I think we can call that you can also see my build and pressing tab uh, I actually wanted Zonia because of the annoying jacks that's on top of my head and the girl old okay sorry and we have another fight here quite possibly the last and what we're interested in this fight even though the gold is quite the same we still have 3000 advantage but we're interested in getting a kill on that Akri which we almost did and they threw major ults now I'm getting rolled on there and it's fine why is it fine? I put that E down and Jax died Jax being one of the main targets I don't even consider here I don't even consider here Orlean Soul, as you can see he's doing his things but my team actually won because I actually dealt a lot of damage and made them use their ults before the main fight Akri was basically useless this fight because she had no ultimate and even though she has flash it's relevant because my team actually got them killed and we kind of scaled to the point that even Mundo is stronger than I don't know most of them and they just surrender so key points in this if you go jungle follow the general route you understood the route there ignore my right so red red try to ask for the help of your but top laner but try to ask for more help because you will have struggle you will struggle because here bot lane two people are helping you one people is helping you it's kind of harder so bot then I don't know maybe let me just drag it back maybe this button disappeared okay here so one 
to maybe help out in this case. It's up to you to decide, I decided not to. Because without W, Tulia is just a spam queue into that direction. And if they turn on you, you have no way of getting rid of QE from Jax or just flashing away. Maybe it would, have, it would have been a good thing to fight here, maybe not, I don't know. So one, two, three, and then up to you, blue, and uh, what's called scuttle, and then ganks, maybe. You will usually face maybe the enemy here. If he has a faster clear, maybe you lose scuttle. And I actually never want to take Gromp because I kind of hate it, and you will be low HP. So recall usually after Scuttle and, or maybe Wolves if you have the HP and then try to go as often as you can back to these camps because they provide now a lot more experience and you're going to see in most, I don't know, games at high elo that people are doing that. Then again try to find some weaklings like that Janna got easily killed, try to find the good players in their team, try not to kill them very often because you will struggle if they are fed then focus them down when their cooldowns are off I mean this actually played very well died once or twice or whole game I mean I didn't even try to lane gank her because I expected her to be on top of him all the time which happened and I could generate their kills maybe but in the 2 versus 2 we would have lost so focus on the other parts of the map where you might do stuff like bot lane even with that Mondo, like you could get Varus or Janna. Then again, move around the map, get farm, get Dark Harvest tags, get kills where, where it's necessary, where you can, get objectives if you can, but more importantly, start fighting basically only after you have some blue smite or at least, I don't know, maybe, well, your main source of damage usually starts when you have your jungle item completed, but till then you still can fight a bit, but you have to be more careful than when you have it completed. After you have it completed, you can roll on them, you can try to get as many combos as you can, practice that WQ combo because it's the best and you're only shot at getting kills or, you know, <laughs> progressing. So focus on that. The rotations, rotations, objectives, then final focus on the Baron. Don't forget to get your level, your first recall, get actually your red trinket and then usually put the vision over here or clear this and you can move around here if you're on the other side maybe here and use the red trinket around or maybe try to sneak here it's a bit more difficult on this side but whatever anyway get try to clear around drakes barons infernals and herald try to always have a vision ward down if you can i usually forget to put them down but you you're smarter than me do it <laughs> please do it put the vision words down and then uh, try to get the Baron, try to get a pick on someone, then create uh, 4 versus 5 for them, and then you try to win that fight, push it, and good luck with the game. So this is for the jungle game, this is the talk on the jungle, and the next uh, clip or part of the video will be with mid lane, and uh, I will showcase how I actually done in a game against Akali, again on the same elo in silver 1 or whatever this is and I tried to carry that game too as I did with this one. So, see you in that game. So here we are in our seminar or guide in the second game in, uh, well technically I'm silver but the enemies are platinum elo and such so it's not that low elo as you might expect as the last game as well. Now you might notice a change of scenery that's because last night I was so tired to finish the idea, well <laughs> I just decided to do it today and uh, you're going to see some uh, mini mistakes now here I've seen them and I click there but I actually had a lag spike which might sound like a poor excuse you'll see I actually realized and then I tried to dodge it I clicked here it was a good plan but the input didn't work so I just died randomly I'm that kind of uh, silver that uh, I don't know has lag spikes now I wasn't AFK I wasn't alt tab I'll tell you I usually don't alt tab when I'm here because of the imminent danger but again that's not important because you're going to see that I still did fine now this Akali is actually pretty decent and it's not a silver or gold I think it's platinum or high gold both for them these kind of players are actually mechanically good and it's a very pretty difficult matchup if he's a 
decent and he is decent and even more than that now also they are duo trio trioing like right so they have huge win rates together basically it should be a hard game for someone uh, that's at 50% win rate in this LO, but we're not and we're going to try to carry this. Also, I'm playing with Electrocute and standard runes, uh, the healing runes and uh, on the other side, the Inspiration and uh, Biscuits and Time Warp Tonic. Playing with Doran Ring and Health Potions. I'm gonna get two Doran Rings because we want to have the extra survivability against their diving comp. All of them can dive you, all of them can jump on you very fast. You're going to expect some huge bursts on your head. So we have to be careful to that. And so, and so, uh, we want now on mid lane to either get the kill on Akali, on uh, Hecarim or to Kembot. We need to find the weakling in their team comp. And as you, you're going to see that I'm not doing much early and I actually do some mistakes, but eventually... I will start uh, destroying people and let's move up a little faster okay let's do like this now it's standard farming on lane there is not much that you can do you just try to not get poked like I did I got way to poke there and you try to abuse the enemy mistake as much as you can mistakes so just farm 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 it's going to be hard to level 3 to get a kill on anyone regardless of elo your point here should be to miss as few CS as you can and to get to that uh, to get to that level 3 then you can start trying to kill people you need to try to proc electrocute as often as possible now here I actually faked warning and I didn't care much uh, okay dealt all my damage then I noticed Hecarim and I flashed his damage now he didn't ignite me so it's fine he ignited me now getting another hit on him but having biscuits as you can see here having biscuits actually managed to manages to help you in living and here there is the mistake that i did a typical silver low elo maybe mistake i actually grid it out i was like nah she won't flash uh, on me because she doesn't have ignite either it's pretty hard for her to kill she actually missed she actually missed Q there, so basically, if I would have hit that W, I would have got, I would have killed her. But it's still okay. We got the kill. She has a blue buff. It doesn't matter. We can still come back because usually in high diamond, this thing will not work. Now here, I spamping him because it, this is a free kill right here. But he kind of trolled me and missed everything. I did not understand. I really did not understand what he done there, but well, again, lower elo things happen. Now, as I said, I went for another Doran string and Boots of Speed, and I'm gonna just put that there because Akali might jump on you. Now, I got extremely poked here, and you should be careful towards that because an Akali can just melt you away with this kind of poke if you're not dealing the same damage and if she has blue especially you have to be careful you have to be careful against most assassins they get ahead and you're even if you're on lower elo you have to try to learn to do that outplay but you gotta wait a bit you gotta be how can i say you gotta have at least the same hp you gotta have at least the same level when you fight if i'm level 5 i won't fight her that's level 6 if your jungler feeds her something or you feed her you have to be careful to now your power strength because even in lower elo this kind of people are actually me kind mechanically gifted most of them are pretty good mechanically like in gold or maybe in platinum their lack of skill comes from macro gameplay not micro gameplay so remember that so we try to win on the macro gameplay now she's level 5 and i'm level Five as well i know she's going to make six i just try to poke from a distance which is my goal from now she sometimes misplaces sometimes goes in positions that allows me to queue so you have to play around and now she's level six she doesn't have flash i know that so i can uh, win the fight if i have flash or i can win the fight if i have ignite and if i stay away and poke because if i go closer now i might die now here we got a kill, Hecarim gets a kill on Caitlyn, 
but we want to focus on uh, on mid lane because their laners are actually pretty good i'll tell you that so besides uh top lane where nasus will start to go ham at some point uh the game is very very balanced and until i actually start to do stuff like uh winning the lane by getting multiple kills we're actually not winning that much now at some point in the future yes nasus will uh, actually destroy that irelia because it's nasus and you expect him if he's decent to actually be something in mid game with triforce and you know some tankiness items but he's beating her now which is kind of hilarious and that's not really fair for them but it doesn't matter because again it's not the sole reason we want it's not actually the main reason i think and i'm going to show you what i mean in a few bits now here i ping like a maniac that akali misses and akali goes for a dive and the another thing that i see is that they don't back off when i ping okay whoops and I'm not sure why she didn't I fear I think she thinks that he has old now here I see the opportunity to go bot but because Morgana even though she has a Q doesn't really bot or in going uh, and using it uh, we missed here the we miss here the kill but but because he has not nothing he has no pots He's actually forced to back off, he also has no teleport, so basically we got some advantage to our laners regardless of the fail gank or not. But we're interested in actually getting kills on lane, on Hecarim more on Akali, so we try to do outplays there. Now we just standard farming, this is a perfect farming right here. Okay, besides that, now again I ping like a maniac and I go where the fight is. Now, I think that Akali goes bot, I even word it here, and here is a fight that's going to happen, and they will pretty much escape, but Nasus goes on them here, and as you can see, he's quite strong, we're gonna put this on him. Now, Akali did the mistake of going there, going bot, and <laughs> Hecarin did the mistake of returning here, so we get the free kills, and... Even though Akali would have been here, we would have still won the 3 versus 3 because of the Nasus and because uh, Hecarim re-engaged. Basically, in low elo you expect to see these kind of mistakes. And unless you're against Murphers, even in the worst case scenarios, you can actually come back from a game like this. Because mistakes happen in low elo. In higher elo, people tend to surrender because, you know... People at higher elos don't do that many mistakes. Now here she goes on me, and I can just flash away when I think she's going to ult, and I get the free kill. Now she played pretty badly there, and well, I want to pick up Akali. I believe she did a subpar play. Well, I have everything. I had my flash. I had my ignite. I had everything. It was fine. As you can see, my items here quite strong items now the mistake i did here which is the mistake real quick what mistake did i do i did not buy potion uh, a single potion because when you fight an assassin you need that bit of hp that's extra to actually survive the following damage now i have i'm 4-2 i have some kills i can go bot i can go here actually and if i have a vision world I can play with that. I actually didn't pick a vision word this game yet, if I remember correctly, which is a major mistake you should do because vision is the key. Now I'm gonna ult immediately. And you're going to see. Okay. There you go. Ult, kill the trash, and follow the Corky. But Corky had W because he used his package before. Now we got another kill for our Caitlyn. A simple kill. Akali teleported top, we don't care, we go back, we get uh, Ludens. Now we're gonna into the bit, it doesn't matter. We go on mid lane. And even though Akali did fine till now, she tried to fight an Asus. And even though I pinged back off, yeah, they killed him, but that Asus eventually 
killed her and they killed him and got the shutdown but it doesn't matter for us because I tried to abuse the plates try to get as many plates here as possible and they are pinging me that Hecarim and Trish are coming and I say fine okay I don't back off I want the plate and I think what wait I can maybe kill at least one of them again we're in lower elo we expect them to do mistakes like that which is that hook and we expect them to fail now I know Akali might be coming and Irelia might be coming but I know what let's fight let's get another kill if it's possible and as you can see here I got actually a triple kill a solo triple kill here I wasn't even that fed I was like 4-3 4-2 and Hecarim and Trash aren't exactly squishy but Trash didn't buy any items that convey tankiness that offer tankiness so that allowed me to actually roll on them off now even on farm, I'm quite ahead because of the Akali mistakes. She misplayed, misplaced and went in places that she shouldn't be. Which you're going to see often in low elo, so you can abuse that now here on top. Another small trade. Nasus is far ahead now and it really has no chance. Now, I don't quite understand why she went for magic resist boots against him, but... Well, low elo, as I said. Carrying here should be way more simple than I did here, but in general... If you have at least one capable teammate and you're not against Morphers, you shouldn't have absolutely any problem to carry in an elo that's a bit lower than yours. Now here we find Trash again. He did the mistake of overextending. You can dive freely. You can dive freely whenever you want. Here another kill on Corky. Just follow the gold. Got a double kill practically for my team now. Uh, I don't know what Zack does but yeah. Uh, here we do have an issue because we cannot actually win this fight at least alone so yeah I can actually not win the fight alone but with Zack I won it without problems now I go back because there is a corky package that basically came at me now really I think rage quitted at this point and here I did a mistake of casting that Q extremely bad I st I'm still human I still do mistakes I got a lot of gold on them again another thing that I said last game do not give your all gold do not give the massive amount of gold that you have towards their uh, towards their AD carry which is a mistake that I just did and yeah Cork is a bit more strong now but it doesn't matter since we can one shot him because we have 10 kills also, I didn't buy many vision words because uh, I actually hoped to win on lane. And while I did not have vision here, act that actually happened that I, you know, guess. Now, a vision word here doesn't ruin any game and it's actually totally worth it to buy it. Please buy vision words and put it there. Again, now moving towards blue buffs and jungles and trying to get all the gold on the map that we can. We're interested in that. We're interested in getting as many creeps and securing as many jungle camps that we, as we can because basically this is the gold our gold now uh, they are going a bit aggressive here and Hecarim is doing Hecarim things but it doesn't matter but Akali is on top of me and can actually kill me which she did and Morgana probably won't kill her because she's missing she's moving very fast but again, on our top side of the map, as a uh, Irelia rage quit, it, well, I understand actually why she rage quit because this guy cannot be answered right now. Uh, we did lose the fight, but we lost it because Caitlyn was farming here and did not even bother to move towards us. And we also got caught in the engage that Zack did. Now, normally these things shouldn't happen, but again, we are so far ahead that they they cannot do much games basically over by this point. Now, you can see my build here, standard build, uh, I switch usually pretty fast to the red trinket now, Nasus just stomps them at this point because he had so much time to farm and they will eventually surrender after some time because they realize, well, I really just rage quit it because of that Nasus and it doesn't matter, we cannot actually win it now. And we noticed that they were fighting and Nasus had some troubles and we decided to end that fight now it's going to be some more uh, some more meaningless fights because of that area disconnect 
but the point is try to get that advantage again a good queue here for Morgana try to get that advantage early or play safety level 3 I don't understand that deck at all I really don't I really don't uh, and I don't understand that Karim either but whatever uh, try to get again that early advantage by doing kills on lane uh, because now that you're higher elo or you're supposed to be higher elo, you feel that you're higher elo than the opponent you can actually outplay them either micro or ma and macro so basically if you cannot beat them on micro you can actually out farm them and out macro them now as you can see here i have more farm even though i have 16 out of 24 kill participation uh, basically that shouldn't happen in any L. You're the mid laner that roams usually should have less farm than the one that doesn't, right? And while Akali did try to counter my roaming or go to lanes, her roams were actually so par and weren't that smartly done. So try to roam smarter, try to find the lanes that have the CC necessary to actually win. Her going top with Irelia against Nasus and getting out play was not really, uh, not really a good choice. It's a good choice if you call your Hecarim also because Nasus can actually 1 vs 2 without problems. Riven can 1 vs 2 also if it's a good Riven. Jax can 1 vs 2 if it's ahead again. There are a lot of bruisers, a lot of uh, strong champions or assassins that can 1 vs 2 when they are ahead. So like Darius, like Eloy, don't do that. Call your jungler. Again, uh, play around your bot lane as much as you can because it's a source of gold as you can in jungle. You can do that in mid lane too. It's a source of gold, it's a source of income that you actually need to actually progress. I missed the W there, where I missed for it, but it doesn't matter. Now here we're kind of losing this fight, but it's again irrelevant as they will eventually surrender. More tips, get the Sorg Boots uh, and Lodans, play with Biscuits if you can, because Time or Tonic and Biscuits, as you've seen here in this engage from Hecarim at the start of the game, it's invaluable. Plus, in lower hero it offers a small surprise, they surrender here. It offers a small surprise uh, over the enemy and... Even though... Okay. Basically, Hecarim here was so certain that he's going to kill me. Uh, he even forgot to ignite actually first time. I mean, I think if he ignited me here, I would have died. 110 damage. Now, this recovers 10% of missing health and mana. That's 60, maybe. But if I recall correctly, I also used the pot here, as you can see instantly. So it's going to be both a pot and a biscuit, and that's going to be more than enough to actually survive that now if he did it instantly maybe I would have died but probably it's it's arguable it was four damage that was recovered from two ticks or three ticks uh, of pots maybe I would have died but again if you gank like that just just use your bloody igniting time like basically he trolled that Akali here and you expect this kind of mistakes and uh, you expect to do this kind of outplays in lower elo or in lower elos than yours because it's actually quite simple to do it and people do mistakes as like this akali did and as they fought me there and as i got triple kill basically i cannot seem to find it and as akali actually engaged on me now here what's the point of a level 6 trash to engage if he's not able to miss to hit his q even if he hit his q i think i would have lived honestly because look how much HP I still have. I would have just stayed in the box. Again, now what's the point of engaging on Akali without an ult and getting hit by the W? Your main purpose here is to dodge the W from Talia. That's your main purpose. Why did you die there? Basically these are kind of mistakes that are intolerable in this kind of elo. And you see them often. And you understand why these people are not actually climbing. They aren't focusing that much, they aren't focusing on important things. It's some logical stuff that's happening here that you should just think more of it. It's not a massive skill gap. Tra level 6 trash going on level 10 to Leah won't really net many choices. In 90% of the cases, if the Talia is good trash, that trash is going to get one shot, especially with those items. Now, I hope 
you understood some kinds some things from this kind of tutorial I hope you got some points I hope it's not a useless video and I hope you understand my thought process and flow especially when I level up a new account or play lower elo so if I were to go on north on east on uh, the east server and play there from a new account honestly I probably reach a diamond or master tier with a 70-80% win rate if I focus without a problem. Now I don't want to go up above or I don't want to do all but probably I should be able to do it because I think I understand how these things work and as I do sometimes fine in diamond and above here I guess it could be it could be working there too now. I just follow my own advice and I advise for you to do it too. Basically wherever you play jungle or mid or even support just just do the main things that usually get Satalia fed. Just do the roaming, do the burst, practice your combos. That's the most important fact. Do standard builds, not, I don't know, random first item realize stuff which doesn't work because you don't have mana. Do standard stuff. Do the builds that the pro players do. Try to watch them and try to go into the practice tool and practice your WQ combo. And I'll tell you, I guarantee you that in like a week or two you're going to see results in nothing in sports in another games in anything else in life you don't see results after some days you see results after weeks or months of practice so don't get upset if doing 10 minutes a day of weq combo doesn't net results doesn't net results in the first few games but after that you're going to start seeing that well i might start to hit them Use your E, use your W, use your W, use your E, doesn't matter the order, practice both. Well, the first one with the EW gets the slowdown and it's much easier to hit it. But again, try to do that. Now, this is my advice for you. I really hope this guide was useful and I want to see you here on the channel next time, guys. I think I want to do a guide soon. I want to write a bit and so maybe the next video will not come up again that soon. But uh, we're going to see how... Uh, how are we going to deal with it now see you next time and good luck in flex good luck in solo good luck in whatever you play and please practice if you want to hit up the racket please do every day some wq combos on dummies and such and you're going to see progress i'll tell you that i'm drew matt and i really hope this seminar or tutorial or guide has helped you have a nice day weekend night wherever you are and goodbye guys goodbye